Hi everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins with the Nebraska Weather Network. Here we are uh, just after 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, on Friday and uh, potential for snow is still out there. So let's take a look at uh, what the models have to say and uh, we'll see what the snowfall potential models also have to say. So here we go. This is 11 p.m. Friday night. Still nothing in central and eastern Nebraska. A little rain snow mix possible in uh, greater Nebraska into the panhandle. Pushing forward to about 2 a.m. Saturday, and notice the snow is starting to stretch from central to eastern Nebraska. Now, this is just one of our uh, in-house models. A few other models have this a little different, but we'll go with this for now. Uh, the snow spreads across the state and then kind of ramps up a little bit here by 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So uh, if you have any travel plans early in the morning, along Interstate 80, we'll likely see some snowfall in some spots. This all kind of uh, starts to sp spread further east and starts to be out of Nebraska fairly quickly. This is not a long duration storm by any stretch. This is 11 a.m. Saturday, still some lingering snow showers into the afternoon hours by 2 p.m., but that's about it. Uh, after that, the snow should be out of here. Clouds will linger, maybe a couple of flurries as we head into Saturday evening. So how much snow? I'm gonna show the snowfall potential on this. Now, uh, keep in mind, this these are just models. It's just kind of to give you an idea of what each model is saying. And then at the end of this, I'll let you know what I think we're going to see for snowfall. Uh, but this is just for guidance and uh, just kind of wanted to show you what is guiding me with my particular forecast. So this is, uh, this is a 6Z for the NAM. Notice it has pockets of heavier snow, but generally one to two, maybe three inches of snow with pockets of four inches. That makes sense. This is kind of where I'm leaning uh, right there. But here's another one. This is another NAM, the 0Z NAM. Uh, this shows, again, two to three inches of snow generally in eastern Nebraska with pockets of four inches here and there. So that kind of holds true with the last one. Uh, this is the RPM. Uh, this is kind of our in-house model. This shows more of an interstate 80 to southeastern Nebraska spread of two to four inches with the lesser amounts to the north and east. And then we'll move on to the GFS. This is the 12Z GFS. This kind of has more towards northeastern Nebraska. This is kind of a, a, a more bullish snowfall potential. Notice it has higher numbers. Not sure I'm going with uh, those higher numbers yet, but one of the models is saying that. Uh, and then here's another one, another GFS. This is the 6Z. And this is kind of along the lines of the NAM, where it has two or three inches with four uh, in pockets of four inches and a little bit higher in some spots. Uh, but this is through Saturday evening as well. So let's do uh, one more GFS, and then we'll hit the uh, overseas one. Uh, this is also two to three inches for most of central and eastern Nebraska, mainly eastern Nebraska, with pockets of four inch. So notice, just about every single model we looked at, except for one or two, has two to three inches with a pocket uh, here and there higher of four or five inches. Let's look at the European model and see what it says. I don't use this one very often, uh, but we'll, we'll take a look at it this time. Just it, It's more widespread. It doesn't get down to the ground uh, as good. So uh, generally three to four inches of snow. So that kind of seems uh, tolerable. I, I, I'm okay with that. So this is my projection. This is what I think is going to happen. Generally two to three inches in uh, parts of central and eastern Nebraska with uh, maybe a little bit more in, uh, in pockets, uh, two to four inches. Maybe some spots could see five or six inches, but I think generally two to three and up to four inches should, should just about do it. So that's what we're going to go with. And uh, we'll update again later. It's uh, only Friday morning. We still have about uh, 12 hours before this really uh, starts to get going. So keep that in mind. We'll, uh, I'll be here all day if you have any questions on Facebook or Twitter or anywhere else. And uh, we'll make sure that we keep you up to date as this storm progresses.